We should be live. Well, Mike, I'll, I'll tell you this: I won't. Uh, I won't know the other players' names, but I'll use their numbers. <laughs> the only thing to do when you have the Mike and Mike show and one Mike gets sick is find another Mike. That that's. that's <laughs> I, I'm just filling in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna claim to be as good as the other Mike, though. Uh, I can't. I know ours. I don't know the others. I just hope we have a little bit more intensity. Uh oh, Chambliss is already texting me. That uh, he's like thinks I'm cheating on him. Escaped. That girl's game lacked intensity for sure. I do hope that the the refs don't blow the whistle quite as much oh, as they did in that game. Man, I'm telling you that they called. That's what I was talking to Mayfield about. We had uh, we had the no no blood no foul rules and Alex Alec Alec whatever you want to call it. No blood, no foul there. And then here, if you if you breathe too heavy on somebody, it was over with. And it wasn't unfair. It was both sides. Uh, it yep. just made the game really slow. Yeah. That, that's part of what killed the intensity, I think. I don't think the girls really enjoyed this gym. I don't think they, they like getting up and down. This is going to be a small gym for our boys to be running up and down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go quick. Yeah. And I don't know much about Corn Bible. The boys. I don't know anything about corn bible. They're not very tall. No. We are tall and fast and especially 
the last, I don't know, three games. If they leave Caleb Melvin alone, uh, that score is going to rack up really, really, really fast. I, I would like to see Caleb uh, <laughs> to hit everything. I'd, I tell you what, Caleb and Mark uh, definitely set up Gunner and Matt to have a good game Saturday because they they just decided to leave uh, Matt open and yeah, which is also a, the wrong thing to do. But that's the great thing about the boys' offense right now is it seems like every game it shifts to a different player. Somebody else will get hot, and, and you usually have at least two or three guys, if not four or five, that are all in double digits. And one guy, one guy takes the lead one game, and then there'll be another guy taking the lead the next game. They're they're not a uh, they're they're not a one trick pony if, here. If you're scouting Kay Matt, you better watch more than one game. <laughs> yeah. About the time you think that. But Matt Snyder's the, the scoring guy, then Caleb Melvin comes out of nowhere, and then the next game it'll be Gunner, and then after that it'll be Mark, and definitely not one dimension. And uh, just biding time. Can't wait for Seth to be back. He, uh, he claims that he's going to try to talk the physical therapist into releasing him on Friday. I would love to see him back, <laughs> before, back before Hydro, and a little bit of physicalness come back, and... Help us. Uh, Rapaho will be a good game. Hydro will be a good game. I'm kind of looking forward to that. We're, we're coming into a stretch with the West Central to have some really good games back to back. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about that because we were all excited about getting the college lawsuit at a real table with a real announcing booth. No luck. Uh, Starting for uh, K Matt, we got uh, zero mile one. We got number two, Mark. Fourteen Matt, twenty Gunner, and twenty-four Arnold. The Nat. Austin Arnold, the Nat. So what's Nat, by the way? You know, you know when you're hanging out outside in the summertime and everything's like nice and peaceful and you're really enjoying life, and you just get that gnat in front of your face that just won't go away. I love it. No matter how much you swat at him, he just he's there. And then he disappears and you think you got him, but you didn't get him. <laughs> so for, for corn, we got 44, 24, 12, 10, and 3. And I think their combined height might match Melvin. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, Arnold's got one speed. Oh, yes, one. yes, he does. And the, and he is a pest. So I I get <laughs> I get what you're calling him a nap. Mark, we had a we had a uh, I had a conversation with Mark uh, at halftime of the girls' game, and we. We got lined out that the hair is a byproduct of fine genetics, is what he told me. No hair products. I think he's full of it. But, yeah, no hair products, no gel, no hairspray. So can I call him Pretty Boy? Oh, uh, you can call him what you want, but he's got phenomenal hair. Tip goes to that mark, and then Gunner <laughs> hits a layup, and we score in the first three seconds of the ballgame. They do have a little bit of speed coming up the floor. Uh, Plastic Man. Plastic the... Man tells number three that uh, he can keep that. <laughs> you may be fast, but I'm tall. Corn's thrown in under the bucket. Uh, Melvin, stay down. Uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. Not a foul call. We'll, we'll take the walk. I thought they were going to start the fouling already, but walk on Corn and... Arnold's bringing the ball up the court. Over to Melvin. Back to Gunner. Back to Arnold. Underneath to Gunner. I mean to Melvin for an easy bucket. And we definitely are pressuring. Oh, don't foul. Well, he carried. Oh. Number 12, middle of the lane. Puts it in, Melvin Falvin. He got the body on him after he released. 
Yep, it was definitely after release, but it was a foul. Still in the air, though. Number 12 shooting free throw. And it's in. 4-3 Calumet. Seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Uh, get it in the gun. A good, good spin move. And uh, almost fell in. That was a beautiful spin move. Everything but the bucket going in. Gunner got fouled, going to line for two. First one's up, and a little hard. Gunner settles in to take the second shot. It's up, and it's hard. And Matt's going to get called for over the back. Boys are starting about the same as the girls did. It's not in rhythm. Got the tap on. Got the ball. Oh, they got it back. And they get the, the ball down the court. 24 scores to give a corner 5 4 lead. Ball down in the corner. And the gunner. Gunner get up top to Matt, over to Melvin, and three is just a little short. Um, Twelve's been the one to do the scoring for them. I don't think they want to drive in. They're definitely pulling out for 10, 12 footers. Um, yeah, after the first Melvin block shot, they kind of decided, hey, let's drive and pull up. Got Mark bringing the ball up. Over to Melvin. Up top to Gunner. Back to Mark on the wing. Up top to Matt. Over to Gunner for a three. And it is good. Right on home. We'll take that. Hey, we'll definitely take that. Let's keep it going. Now let's, let's speed the game up here. That's something we're really good at. And there's the Nat. Uh, yep, class to man with the steal. Up to Mark. Mark hits. Oh, Mark got fouled. Didn't no call, but a rebound by Gunner and uh, put back in. Up 9-5. And then we're going to call a blocking foul on that. Um, somebody's yelling about a walk. And uh, I do believe there was a walk involved. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to argue with that woman. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did call that on 24. The net. Both inside. The net steals it. We settle back. Mark's got it. Bring it up the floor. That's the head man in the corner. In the gunner. Gunner spins. Left handed loop, didn't go in. Mark taking a three. Boom! Ah, short. Still 9 5 us, five minutes to go in the first. Oh, they did drive. And Ooh. number three, layup for Corn. We've already got the ball up in the corner, in the, in the gunner. And hey, yeah. So he called a block and then sent it to the other end. Uh, they called a block on the play, and then when they come over to the scorer's table, they change it to a charge. He called a block. Called a block on the play, but when they come over to the scorer's table, <laughs> they call a charge. Uh, you don't see that very often. So, Gunner's got his first. Oh my goodness, that's two horrible calls back to back. Just play the game. Yeah, Melvin, Melvin did not uh, come close to touching him. Before the game, we talked about we were scared they were going to be calling like this uh, after the girls' game. <laughs> Unreal. 12, 12 hits the free throw. It is 9 8. 
the Chieftains. That one comes out, and Michael Haig has came in the game. 12 shooting the free throw. And he makes it. It's a tied ball game, 9 9. Mark bringing the ball up. Brings it in to Matt. Matt, uh, Matt takes it up pretty strong and gets fouled. Hope he shoots free throw like he did the other game. <laughs> yeah. Matt's up the line, gonna shoot two. He's been pretty solid from the free throw line this year. Oh. <laughs> Not, not at the line to shoot to. They they called the foul on the shot, but then they decided we're taking the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Into Michael, up top, over to Gunner, hit that. Over to Mark, hit that. Matt's got it up top, over to Michael. Gunner in the corner, drives over to Mark for a three. And oh! it's good. Up 12-9 with four minutes to go as a first. push off. Yeah, the mat's all over him, though. Oh, another, That's another push off. Game. Check. Call that! We're definitely pressuring them, and they are, they are extending that arm. 12 in the lane, over to 24 for a 10-footer. Uh, over Michael, got, Mike, Michael got away with a foul. Gunner's up. Matt's got it for a layup and another foul call, but will we shoot or not? <laughs> hey, do you got a coin I can flip? Well, we haven't made it to the scorer's table yet. <laughs> Give me a coin. I'll flip a coin to see what we're going to do here. Oh, two shots. Ah, oh, hey, we are going to shoot free throws. Matt's first free throw in. Gives us a 13-9 lead with three minutes in left in the first quarter. Matt comes out and Meshi is in the ball game. I don't think the ceiling is tall enough to hold his three-point shot. I, I would agree. Matt's second free throw up and in. And we are up 14-9. We have the pressure on. They're having trouble getting the ball in. About five seconds in, they do get it in. They just throw it down the floor. Somehow it works. Uh, we take a charge. They don't call it. We don't get the rebound. We don't get the rebound. But now we got it. Marks leading up to Gunner. Gunner's going in. Pulls out. Hits Mesh up top. Mesh shoots. And you're on. <laughs> it held it. It, it held the, it. The, the three goes in for, uh, for Mesh. Giving a 17-9 lead. Man, no hesitation at all on that shot. He 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 took that like he knew it was going in. Three's bringing the ball up. He's pretty quick. Uh, gets all the way in the lane. Matt steals the ball on the backside. We're already back up with Hegg. Over in the corner to Mesh. He takes another three. Messi will not be denied. Boom! <laughs> So 20 to nine, uh, 20 to nine K Matt timeout corn, and is that like Mesh leading the score in the first quarter? Uh, so I far? believe so. Uh, Mesh ain't afraid to send it tonight. He is going all out. So before the game, you made a comment about everybody can score. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we were really talking about the subs, but you know what? Hague's been coming in scoring. Hey, typically it's the starting five, but Michael Hague's coming off the bench and done well. Meshburger's done well. At some point, we may even see Big Worm J.J. Robinson come in, and you know he's going to hit a three. He, he's going to put it up. He's going to put it up. I think he averages one three every appearance. I don't know if you call it an appearance in basketball, or, but nonetheless, we're going to call it an appearance tonight. If we see him, he's hitting a three. I'm calling it. So uh, two minutes, 56 seconds left in the, in the first quarter. We're up 29. Uh, we've got six fouls. They've got four. We start out with some pressure uh, on the inbounds. Going to make them work hard to get it up the floor. Four. And uh, I don't know how many more times he can count and not call a five count. Uh, He's getting four. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Snyder for a three. Oh, that wasn't even close, but gets his own board. 
And uh, then Egg throwing it in. Looks like, oh, this isn't L, is it? We're not going to get a T, are we? Oh, we got by with L. That mark for three. Oh, a little just a tad bit short. It looked good. They rebound, but we got pressure on them. Here's this number three kid that seems to get by us. <laughs> uh, mark tries to take a charge, and three gets to lay in a bump. Uh, oh, in and out. So Gunner, Gunner gets all the way to the rim, but in and out. And here comes Juan down the court for Corn. 20's got it. Back to Juan. He's having trouble. Oh, they called 10. So we can't get a five count, but we <laughs> did get the 10 count. That's the Western Oklahoma math there. <laughs> can't make it to five, but I can skip the 10. 20 to 11. Chieftains, two minutes to go. We threw it in to Mark. Mark's bringing it across half court. Bringing it over to the right side. It's a screen from Gunner. Slips off to Gunner. Over to Mesh. Back to Matt up top. Into Gunner. Gunner better clear the lane. Over to oh, Mesh. Mesh, Mesh took another three. Uh, over to Hegg on the left side. Back over to Mesh and another three. Wow. And gonna rebound. Uh, no, Mark rebound. Yeah. <laughs> um, get some stats on that uh, possession there. A few rebounds, a few shots. Oh, here they are throwing over the top again. And now we got a two on one, and they they finish it off. Number 10 scores. We already pushed it back across half court. We got it to Mark's up top to Hegg, over to, to Mesh, to Gunner, and uh, he did. I think he did travel. It looked like to me he took a pretty good step on before the pass came out of his hand. Mesh comes out and uh, Nat back in. And balls in to 12. We're pressuring him. Oh, nice job, Nat. Mark still. And they they call it charge when when the kid was way off to the side of Mark. Um, if anything, Mark wind hit him as he went by. Um, do not believe that was a charge. But anyway, Mark's first foul. Corn throws it into Mark, but Mark knocks it out of bounds. Twenty-two, thirteen. A minute, thirteen left in the first. Corn gets it in. Oh, Nat! <laughs> oh, Nat, Nat steals the ball, but they call him for a walk. I don't think there was enough room over there for Arnold to walk to travel. <laughs> walk. I don't think so either. Into twelve, behind his back. Forgot the ball. So, ooh, nice spin with Matt with the ball block. by Snyder. Ahead with Gunner. Oh, Gunner. Gunner didn't see 12 traveling. Turns the ball over. Another spin by 12. Rebound by Gunner. Pushes to Mark. We're already past half court. Back out to Nat. Up top. Over to, well, not over to Gunner. Over to Gunner. In the corner to Hegg. Matt down low. Back to Hegg on a... So we're not going to call the, the foul as often, but we're definitely going to call the walk. Um, walk on Hegg. Um, I don't even think he had the ball to uh, have a walk called on him, but it was called. 22-13 us, 30 seconds to go. Oh, got the jump from Matt and Corn and our, uh, it's Corn's ball. like to get a stop on this possession and, and score again. Uh, finish up in double digits here. So 20, he walked. Oh, they did call it. 20, 20 kind of fell and <laughs> slid his foot. Worked on the ball in on far side. Matt's going to throw it into Mark and we're going to set up and see if we can't go score. 28 seconds to go in the first quarter. 22-13 Chieftains. Up top to Nat. 
Over to Matt. Matt drives, fakes, puts the shot up, misses. They rebound. They're having trouble getting it back up, though. We got a trap on. Our old 12. Our trap worked. Three, two, one, and we nice job. So we steal the ball on the trap. It gets thrown ahead to Matt with about three seconds at half court. He hits it on up to Mark. Mark uh, lays it in at the buzzer for us to go up 24-13. Uh, Mike a little, little better than the girls game. <laughs> a little bit more intensity. Uh, a little more intensity. Uh, 24 points. It didn't seem like we should have scored 24 with all the different walks and fouls called. But uh, as we said, we do not have any trouble scoring in numbers. No. No, no, no. Well, I, uh, I got to throw a shout out out to Chambliss, means he always does to me. Uh, Chambliss, I hope you're enjoying yourself this evening, wherever you're at. Uh, sitting miss on, you. Sitting on the couch in his underwear, I'm sure. God, that's a horrible <laughs> thought. Yeah, I, I, was, I was actually having a decent time until you uh, <laughs> threw that in there. Glad I brought that coffee from home. Junior high, junior high on Thursday, high school on Friday at Arapahoe. Junior high pulled off a win last night over I, uh, Corn Bible. Uh, Corn Bible. Bible. And, and I hear Arnold had 40. Yeah, Is that Hunter, right? 4 0. Hunter Arnold, freshman, dropped 40 last night on Corn Bible. Yeah. Matt said he had 19 in the first quarter. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, something. Anyway, uh, 40 points, 40 points is a, I mean, whatever age group you're in, that's pretty impressive. So we, we did not uh, convert. Uh, they were throwing the ball deep. Uh, wasn't a very good idea. Gunner intercepts the pass. Over to Mark. Mark drives. Oh, but Mark forgot the ball. Uh, three driving. He forgets the ball. Matt's back up the floor. Um, over to Gunner up top. Over to Hegg. Back to Matt. Matt's going to throw up a three short. And Corn Bible rebounds. Three's bringing it up. Three's actually got a little bit of speed. Um. Ooh. Uh, Matt causes a turnover. Matt steals the ball. Over to Hegg. Over to Matt. And we miss. Matt miss rebound misses. Matt rebounds again, and we get fouled. I think it's on the shot. I never... I never know. I gotta watch till it's completion. I believe it is on the shot. They're showing Matt's gonna get two. Nice rebound, but let's just put one of those uh, easy bumps in. We had three of them. Yeah. Matt's first free throw up and in. Gives us a 25-13 lead early, early in the second quarter. Here in a minute, they're gonna put their foot on the gas, and it's gonna get. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Ooh, I was getting ready to say I'm ready for Mel to come, Melvin to come back in. And guess who just went to the scorer's table? Uh, Matt missed the second free throw. One for Corn Bible, bringing it up just past the half court. Not sure what to do. Three's got it over on the left side. Oh, over the top. Uh, 24 misses, gets his own rebound. And then I believe Gunner tipped that in. That was Gunner's tip. Gunner tips it in for Corn. Um, so does he still get the points? I, I, I would like to know that answer. They got the points in, on the scoreboard. Does Gunner get the points in the book? So, uh, and Gun Gunner just scored at the other end for Calumet. And we stole the ball over to Nat. Back out to Mark at three-point line. Um, to Nat, short shot, and the end. Uh, nice, nice little possession right there. Nice passing. Uh, we've got pressure set up again. End of one for Corn. Um, head all over him. Matt uh, tips it out. Corn's not liking our pressure at all. Corn bringing it up across the court. Number one has it on the far side. Doing some dribbling. Into 44 over Melvin. 
And he lays it in. Nice little turnaround. So I conferred with Molly Mayfield, and she says that no, there is no critical points to count for scoring on the other end. Well, too bad, because uh, that's two less points he'll score this year. Anyway, three's got it up top, and he continues to push off. You've got to call a hand check. It's some yeah. uh, push off, not a hand check. But so three is pushing off. They do score. Mark's got it. Driving in. Mark brings it all the way. Gets fouled, but no call, but does, does finish. So that puts KU made up 31-19, five minutes, 35 seconds. Uh, one's bringing it. Got it across half court to three. He's in the middle of the lane already, and that's got to be a charge. And and we do. We get we get the charge. Mark Mark stands clear, takes the charge. Melvin throwing the ball in under the under the bucket into Mark, and we're going to go the length of the floor. What's going on behind us? I don't even want to turn around and look. We got a lot of noise. Mark's got to bring in the cutoff staff court over on the right to Nat. Over to the corner to Matt. Back up top in the gunner. Over cross court to Mark. Mark drives in. Leaves it to Mel. Mel gets blocked. Gets his own, uh, own put back in after the block and scores. Here we come with three. Is he going to push off? Let's see. Um, watch him. Oh, well, he, no. didn't really, he didn't do it that bad that time. So, so three's getting by with uh, extending his arm pretty good, and instead they call Matt with a blocking foul. Going to send uh, three to the line for a one and one, and let's see if the ball never lies. They're what do not, you think? They're not going to. They're not going to call that push off foul. So they and, I, and I don't understand why. Arnold's playing pretty solid defense on him. Free, free throws up and good. Three for uh, for Corns getting a second shot here. 33 to 20. Kay Matt. Up oh, and in. They do shoot free throws pretty good. Mark throws into Matt. Matt's already got it all the way down the floor to, to Nat. Into Gunner for a, a bump. And Gunner gets fouled. Going to the line for two. That is first foul on the, their number 24. That gives uh, us eight fouls and them seven for the game. Gunner free throws up. And in. Um, uh, our big James Doherty just came in for Matt. Uh, maybe he, maybe Coach is tired of that pushing off, and maybe he wants to <laughs> to push back a little. Um, big James is going to put a body. Uh, on big James is going to push, uh, intentionally or not. He's going to push. Uh, they've got the ball up the court, five into three in the lane, and there's that. There's that <laughs> ball we talked about. Big James Doherty. Big James Doherty blocks the shot. Causing some confusion. It was about like running into a brick wall. Three kind of bounced off with with big long arms, and then three walked because of the bounce off. So uh, James did his job. We got Mark bringing the ball up the court. James posting up. Gunner over to Nat. Go give it to James. He's posting hard. Melvin. Uh, Melvin shoots a three from up top. Does a little dance uh, on the rim and falls in. And then he lets a uh, one just drive by him and get up the floor easy. We got the ah. on. Here comes three over 24. Nah. So we left 24 wide open on the backside. Um, if you're going to foul, you got to foul a little sooner so um, he doesn't make the, the easy bucket and get the foul. Doherty with his first foul. We have 24 for Corn at the free throw line with Calumet leading 38 to 23. And 24 hits the free throw. Uh, they, they're shooting a high percentage from the free throw line. Melvin 30 up a court. Over to Gunner. Over to Mark. Into, into James. And James with a nice little touch. Turn and puts in for two. And uh, they gave the points to the wrong team. And I, I see that in the scoreboard, but I heard it from Molly. I'm straight. 40-24.
Down low to 24, back up top to three. Over to one, he shoots a three. Does not go in. And uh, should have called a foul for over the back, but it did at least get the ball to the caveman chieftains. Now that doesn't, doesn't get many calls for over the back. You notice that? Officials time out. Yeah, they're wanting to straighten up the score. It's uh, off by two both ways. Scoreboard showed 38 to 26 when it should be 40 to 24. And we are straight, and with three minutes, 54 seconds left in the second quarter, uh, we have nine fouls, they have seven. Mark bringing the ball up, just kind of moseying up the floor. Gets across half court, oh, and throws the ball to the wall. Um, I don't know if Melvin was supposed to stay there. You I'm, can't. I'm not sure what happened. You can't do that. No. The wall can't catch the ball. The wall is only about three foot from out of bounds, um, from the, the baseline, but still, you, you can't throw it to the wall. Three comes all the way in the lane, misses the layup, Gunner gets the rebound, up to Nat. Use your speed, kid, there you go, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're Arnold with the little razzle-dazzle. Reversal left hand. If only that kid could dunk, it'd be even that much better. Yeah, he blew by two kids. Oh, that's got to be a walk. Good call. Um, blew by two kids, made it look easy. And like you said, a little razzle-dazzle at the end. Uh, he is fun to watch. I'm glad he decided to come join the team this year. Him and his 12 brothers. Um, Mark's got the ball up the court. This time he's going to throw it to Matt instead of the wall. Uh, over to Gunner in the, in the corner. Uh, nice little shuffle pass. To James, to James Doherty for an easy bump, and he uh, connects to make it 44-24. Corns back up the floor. Uh, they're having a little trouble with ball handling tonight. Uh, number three's got it. Oh, that's weak. Um, it, it, it is a foul. Um, Just Matt, got hung up a little bit. Matt did foul, but uh, it was out at half court. Three kind of cleared his arm around Nat, and 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 Nat gets called for the foul. That is how many are? Oh, that's three on Arnold. So three for Corn at the free throw line. Up and in. Man, I don't keep stats like Chambliss. I wish I did, cause they're they haven't missed. No, they, they haven't missed from the line. They obviously spent some time in practice on the free throw line. That's that's uh, Snyder, that's Snyder in for Gunner and um, Big Dylan twenty five uh, in for James Doherty and Heg in for Nat. So Snyder brings the ball in after the made free throw. We're already up the floor, already in the corner to Michael Heg. Back to Mark up top. Over to Matt. He's his guy's giving him a little pressure. Matt decides to drive a little. Heg oh. doesn't catch the ball very well, and and he did travel. Two minutes thirty six seconds left in the second quarter. We happen to be up 44-26. Pushing them, bringing up the ball. One goes ahead and gets by Michael pretty easy, but here comes uh, Gunner. <laughs> here, here comes Mark for a steal, layup, and, uh, you know. Thank you. One got by Michael, but I don't think he expected uh, Mark to come in from behind, steal the ball, and go in for a layup. Three is all the way up the floor. Uh, Melvin can't jump and block because of uh, his foul trouble, but we do get the rebound. One to Dylan, and oh, you are six foot twelve, and he hits you with an alley oop, and you just tried to lay it in. Uh, and yeah, I think he hit underneath the backboard. Um, I yes, I would like to see that at least uh, up at the rim. To Tell let your that son go. he's got to dunk that ball. That, that, that is a textbook alley oop. That should have been the dunk. <laughs> Free throw up and a little hard. I talked to his dad just the other day, and he told me that that, it, that Dylan declared that he can dunk all day long. He can dunk. So he's told on himself. We know he can dunk. Dylan's second free throws up, and uh, it was it looked good, but it uh, rolled itself back out. Uh, Corn's got the rebound. One's bringing the ball up. 
Mark's giving him a little trouble. Dylan helps out, 44 with a three. Oh, a total miss, but backside rebound by three. Puts it in. Matt's got the ball already up the floor. Uh, driving in, uh, comes to a stop. Sends it over to Mark for a three. And the three missed. Matt tips the ball out, but 44 for Corn brings it up the floor. Five's got it. Back up top to one. They reset. Matt's giving a little pressure up top. Um, over to five. Five does a little bit of dribbling, but uh, decides to dribble out of bounds. Turns it over to the Chieftains with a minute 28 to go. 46-28. Um, we have ten fouls. They have eight. Both are both are in the bonus. Mark's taking this time, bringing it up across half and court. In the corner to Matt. Into James. And James, a nice little uh, turn hook, half hook shot, but leaves it short. 44 rebound. Three's already up the court. Uh, three brings it out to one for a three, and boom. Uh, uh, we let we let Corn hit a three and brings it back 46-31. Um, nice. Oh, James Doherty with a, a a half one-handed hook in the middle of the lane. It was actually pretty. I think that's eight for Doherty. One's Six or eight. One's getting harassed. Double team right here. Oh, so see. I, he don't even have control of the ball. I don't believe that's a foul, but we get called. Uh, Michael Head gets called for a foul. A block, um, nonetheless. Michael Head gets called for a foul almost at half court. Um, just pressuring the ball, and the kid didn't even have the ball in his hand. Um, that sends three to the line for two. We're in double bonus already. And it it's up in the end. 48-32 Calumet, 39 seconds, still half. We have Snyder, Melvin, Peg, Snowden, and Meshi joins the game team in the game. Already up ahead, Gunner's got it at the three-point line over to Mesh in the corner. Oh, nice pass to Melvin. Oh, we got we to gotta put that one in. Uh, Melvin, Melvin missed a bump uh, against a kid that's way shorter than him. We got one bringing it up. Matt's harassing him and Gunner. You know, have you noticed that Matt causes a lot of turnovers with his harassment? Gunner <laughs> into to Peg, and we end up scoring, making it 50 to 33. Gunner's harassing one coming up. Uh, one uh, dribbles behind the back to Mesh. Mesh going up the floor, and uh, not going to call a foul. We're going to call a travel. Mesh. Mesh tried a pretty slick move. He uh, did that little where you fake boy behind your back, bring it back, but he took one too many steps in the process. So halftime buzzer rings with Calumet up 50 to 33. Uh, we had 11 fouls. They had eight. Um, wouldn't even be a ball game if they didn't make all their free throws. Dude, I'm telling you right now, that's been a lot of whistles. I, I in, am going to... In a game and a half, that's a lot of whistles. I am going to go out and guess that 15 of their points are from the line. Um, Chambers may be keeping stats at home, I'm not sure. 15 points for, uh, from the line for them at the free throw, for its free throws, or we are in a, a total blowout. It's still pretty well a blowout at 50 to 33, but uh, you take 10 points away and yeah, 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 a, whole worse. a whole lot different score. They'll still put up half a hundred in the first half, so that'll work. All right, seven minutes. We'll be back. Is it 
the charger and then you have to I put it in there. Thank you. 
Alright, we are back. Start of the third quarter of Calumet 50 and Corn Bible 33. Hopefully, we can play a little bit of basketball and be foul free for, I don't know, maybe 20, 25, 30 seconds. Maybe, I'm not sure. Be a whole lot more entertaining. Original starting five, Corn Bible brings the ball in. Uh, three's got it over on the side. Up top to 10. 24 in the corner. Back up top to three, over to 24, and he puts it in. That's a little bit better ball movement on their part. All the way up the court to Melvin, over to Gunner. Back up top to Matt. Matt walks because he doesn't take the shot. Uh, corn back in. Uh, Tim throws it up the, up the floor, but right to Mark. Melvin's going to take the three. No hesitation. Matt, nice rebound. And foul. Should have got a foul, but he does get the bucket. Uh, put us up 52-35. Oh, my gosh. We call so many weak fouls, and then the blatantly obvious foul that's right in front of them, they don't call. I, I would agree. Uh, 24 backside, but Gunner gets there to tip it out of bounds. Great call. On the out of bounds. Impressive. Yeah, they got that one right, didn't they? <laughs> Three's throwing it in. Comes into 44. He shoots about a 15-footer. Rebound Gunner. Gunner's bringing it up over to Mark. Uh, inside to Matt. Matt does a nice little spin and brings it in. Uh, Matt with back-to-back -back little buckets in the lane. Pressure and pressure and uh, 12 going up the floor. Uh, and he just gives it to Melvin. Oh, and then Melvin just gives it to 24, and then 24 to that size to throw it out of bounds. Tries to pass it to the referee, and the referee's not having any of it. <laughs> he didn't want it, did he? No, uh, I graduated. I am done. He'd probably call a foul on himself. <laughs> Mark's bringing it up. Taking time over to Gunner. Out to Melvin. Back up top to Nat. Into Matt. Matt back up, Mark bringing it in, nice little pass to Matt, that's too easy, nice pass Mark, Matt with a layup, we're pressuring already, Matt's got three, keep him in front of you, three in the lane, did he call, did he call a push off on number three? Trying to figure out which Calumet player just caught another foul. <laughs> we, I, I, I mean, I was like, I just, really? I just had to actually turn to Mike and give him five because we've been wanting this call all game. And when we didn't get to see it, they call it for us. So That's amazing. They did. They did call three with the push off. And three had to come out because that's four fouls on him. Uh, nice. Melvin, Melvin brings it in. Uh, back out to Nat. Uh, and Gunner's hitting a three. Nope, uh, Melvin over no the No contact. Yeah, uh, Melvin, Melvin over the back um, agreed. Melvin was, what, three foot higher than 44? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can go over the back if you don't make contact. Yeah, just because you, you're, you're getting the ball at the rim and 44 stays <laughs> on the back. Mark just picked his pocket. Mark picks 12's pocket and uh, hits the layup. 12 back in. And Mark, this time he jukes Mark. <laughs> Mark just laughed. Mark's still laughing. <laughs> I got you, you got me. Oh, hey, 44 just pump fake nobody. I was I was really good at that. So 44 gets the ball under the bucket, <laughs> pump fakes nobody, <laughs> and turns the ball over. You got 12 from Corn Bible and, and Castillo are both sitting here just chuckling at each other. So, uh, Gunner brings the ball in to Arnold, bring the ball across half court. We got a, we got a set. Mark, Mark gets it in the lane, over to Matt. Matt shoots a three, and I, he's got to have one fall tonight. Long off the back iron. Horn's got the ball, 12 in the lane, and 12 up and in. 
Melvin's kind of quit playing defense because of his foul trouble, and, and I like it a lot better when Melvin is blocking shots. Yeah. Gunner takes it all the way. Takes the contact and the foul, brings the ball through the hoop, and is going to go finish off a three-point play. Gunner is uh, up and in, finishes off three point play, puts us up 60 to 37. <laughs> That's always interesting. So Matt steals the ball uh, over to Matt. Matt. Oh, Matt, no, that's not a travel. That is, that is not a travel, guys. You get a full step and then up. And then. And Melvin's just sitting over there going, Matt, get out of the way. I can, I can dunk. dunk. Yep. You can't. They, they call the they call the travel on Matt when it's not a travel, but I agree. Dun uh, Melvin had a had a dunk, but Melvin probably needed to holler a little. We have a uh, one putting up about the ten footer. Twenty gets the rebound. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Twenty gets the rebound. Gunner rejects him from about a uh, good foot distance between the two of them, and does get called for the foul. Looked awful clean to me. From here, I think I could see about a foot of distance between the two of them. <sighs> oh, man. Hey, Tony misses the free throw. Uh, he didn't just miss that. Yeah, it, it was it was a brick, but uh, they sometimes say the ball doesn't lie, and I, I believe that uh, that shows that that was probably not a foul. We got a second one up in the end. Mark bringing the ball up, over to Melvin, over to Matt. Matt's taking another That's three. It. Hey, I, we're not afraid to shoot the ball. Uh, Matt drains a three. 12 has the ball back up to 10. Matt's trying to, oh, we got a gutting trap. A 20 got by with a little bit of travel. Um, one is short, gets his own rebound. Back up to 12. He shows up at a 10 footer. Melvin with the rebound, all the way up to Gunner, over to Mark for back to Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot it? No, you shoot it. No, you shoot it. Yeah, and it was the right pass. Made it for an easy shot. Good job, Mark and Gunner. 20's got it up top for Corn. 12. 12 shoots a three. Misses. Melvin gets it. Throws it to Matt. Matt's bringing it up. Matt is. So that's the same amount of steps as he got called for a walk earlier. Uh, he doesn't get called this time, but he does get a foul call on corn. Uh, number 12 has four. Ooh, they're getting they're getting two of their uh, key players with four fouls midway through the, oh, the third quarter. Hey, what do you do? You take him out and then you lose him on offense and defense. And Matt is short on the free throw. I'd rather have him in the game right now and having him ease up on defense a little bit. But we've got two we haven't seen yet coming off the bench. Yeah, we bring Mesh in one. Uh, we bring Hag and Mesh in for Mark and Matt. Matt needs to get uh, this ball up over the rim. Both rocking the Rex backs. Matt settles in for his second free throw. It is up and long. But Melvin, oh, Melvin taps it, but Corn comes up with it. Hey, the kid that came in, uh, 15, gets the rebound. One's bringing it up. We uh, come to trap him over to 10. And, uh, well, our uh, sub in for the, the kid you weren't sure if he should take out or not. Um, does not catch the ball. Turns it over to us. Got Heck bringing the ball up. Heck, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be Melvin or Matt. I'm guessing Matt, but it didn't work no matter what it was. Uh, 
And then uh, Corn yeah. decides just to throw it back out of bounds. Again. Yeah, they pulled both guards out, and that just that just killed their whole offensive uh, alignment. There. Yeah, they don't have any speed on the floor right now. We're bringing three and twelve out. Gunner with the three, long, but he's going to get his own rebound and uh, give it over to Melvin. Melvin, uh, they, I, I just don't think that's a walk. Um, Melvin with a drive, he he gives a, a kind of a shoulder fake on the three and then takes off and I really don't believe that was a walk but it gets called for it and we have corn back down the floor uh, 65 38 us two minutes to go in the third um, <laughs> that was a silly foul there was no need yeah. for that yeah that was a good foul I mean it was entertaining but yeah That's just a second on Matt. We'll be fine. Three fouls each. Uh, Matt steals the ball. Is he going to take it himself or is he going to turn it over to somebody? He takes it in for a left-handed layup. We got five bringing the ball back up the court for Corn. We we trap. Mesh gets the steal. Keep a hold of a kid. Hey, up to to Michael. We. Uh, up top to Mesh, and Mesh is going to take it. Mesh has missed the three. We got one for Horn back up top. Got 20. Back to one. Five over on the wing. One up top. Matt and Mesh just make a nice little switch in the corner. 20 up top, back in the corner, and they throw the ball down at uh, Mesh's feet. Hey, uh, we're uh, subbing early uh, tonight. Matt and Gunner come out, and uh, we have Big James Doherty and Mark back in the game. Peg with the rebound, pushing on, it all up. Come on, come on, come on. Is he going to do it? The Dipsy Three Dunkaroo! <laughs> so that's what we wanted to see earlier, uh, and we didn't get to see it, but we uh, we decided to, to let Melvin throw it down. Melvin's not going to be denied that time. That was nice. That puts us up 69-38 with 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, our janky wireless mouse is on its last leg. So Corn's got it over on the right side of the floor over to the left. 35 up top. Having a little trouble dribbling. Five's got it up top. Uh, gives it over to Mark, but Mark lets it go on out of bounds. Corn Bible is going to take it in under their bucket. Big James Jordy tying the shoe. He needs his shoes tied. He doesn't need any other reason to, to, to trip. Over to the corner. Shot up. Missed. Melvin comes down with the rebound. Throws it ahead to James down the middle. And he... Uh, <laughs> James decides that he's not going to put the sh shot up. He's going to walk. Good pass ahead. When you talk about a bull in a china closet, that is number 32. And I'll take that bull Big in the china James. closet all day, all day long. So, Corn's got the ball in the corner. Not sure what that call was, but uh, catching that ball. They must have called out of bounds, I guess. I I can't see the corner because of the, the metal bar here. Just a minor design flaw. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Mark's bringing it up. Slip by James, and uh, James gets fouled. On the floor. It's almost like being at Wrigley, only, you know, no ivy and a whole lot smaller, but... I get it. I, I get what you're saying. And, 
Peyton Banna came at Horn Bible Academy. I don't. 20, 30. Who'd they call that on? James. Uh, what'd you say about the bull in the china closet? Uh, yeah, but I don't. I'm trying to figure out what the foul was, but I I didn't see it either. But uh, he he does push pretty hard sometimes. Yeah. He goes Presley Airborne. Hey. And back down safely. Mike, I know we got this in the bag, 69 to 38, but I would like to see another quarter and a minute of good ball to finish off. Uh, as long as I can see one more dunk, I'm all right. Yep. Are we starting? Oh. In, are we in fourth quarter? I fell asleep. So, minor update to the score. It shows now to be 70 to 38, not 69 to 38. Huh? So, is it 70 or? I'll just wait a minute, though. Molly will tell them here in a second. She knows what the score is, I can guarantee it. Heggs got the ball up top. Over to Mark with the dribble weave. Mark into Gunner. Gunner back out to Michael. Michael for the three. Oh. It was a nice shot. Just did not fall in. 44 for Corn with the rebound. Heading back up with 12. Have in the dribble up at the top of the key. Over to three in the corner. So we have both of their guards back in. Um, make for a little better ball. Um, Gunner cannot. Was that hot potato? It looked like it. Um, Gunner. Gunner was trying to grab the ball, but it was just slapping it back and forth. Corn Bible taking the ball in under their basket. Up top to 12. 12 drives over to three for a three. And he hits it. Uh, we're back up the floor. Matt up to Mesh. Mesh dribbling in. Up top to Matt. Over to Mark. Mark gives it in to Gunner. Gunner better clear the lane. Nice little pass back to Mark, and he leaves it a little short. Uh, 12 bringing the ball back up for Corn. Over to three in the corner, just hit the three, but he didn't even look at it. Back up top to 12, over to three. Back up top to 10, over to three. Back to 44 up top. Got 12 down in the corner. Back up to 12, three at the free throw line, and nothing. Matt throws it ahead to Heg, and Heg is gonna go finish. Nice, oh. Nice jump stop step, but did not finish. Uh, 12 up, three. Whoa! Yeah, three kind of had to throw that way up to get it over Matt's uh, stre outstretched arm and goes out of bound to the Chieftains. Mark's bringing the ball up slowly, calling out something. Hopefully it's not a DL play. Yes, we don't need that. Matt decides to take a three. A little hard. Gunner gets the rebound, does everything he needs to do, and gets fouled by 24. Gunner go to the line for two. It's kind of lost this luster a little bit, Mike. Gunner misses the first. Scoreboard shows 70 to 41, six minutes to go. Gunner up with the second and it uh, bounces out. Um, Mark, a uh, nice hustle to keep the ball alive and get the rebound over to Michael. Um, back up top to Mesh, throws in a three, uh, nothing. Gunner gets the rebound, misses. Three gets the rebound for Corn up the floor. Twelve's uh, got it coming in, um, and they're going to call Gunner for a reach. Seventy to forty-one. 
Gunner's third foul. Five minutes, 41 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Corn brings it in to 24. Uh, back to three, drives the lane, and oh, he cannot. If he calls this on Melvin, okay. I'll say if he would have called that on Melvin, I would have. <laughs> I might have had to say something. Um, but he does not. He gets Michael. Uh, either way, it was pretty cheap, but three goes in line, hits the first free throw. Even Melvin was like, what did I do? Three's second free throw is up and in, too. Uh, they shoot the, the free throw well. Heggs got it over to Nat in the corner, into Matt. Matt back out to Michael. Michael for a three. Over to Nat. Nat misses. Matt gets the rebound. Matt puts it up and in. Nice little garbage rebound and put back. 12 back up to 4-4 four, four corn. Over to three, but he misses it, and, and Nat's got ahead of everybody, but I don't know if you saw it. Three actually got back ahead of Nat. Uh, I told you three was pretty fast. Nat misses the free throw, and uh, we get called for a foul on the uh, rebound. They said that Arnold was faster on a basketball court than he is on a baseball field. He actually is. Is he? Uh, he's pretty quick, but I, I've been telling you all night, three's pretty fast, and three caught up he, with him just then. He is quick. He's quick on the base pass, but I think he's a little bit uh, quicker. A little bit quicker on a basketball court. At least, at least once a game, Matt makes somebody look pretty silly blown by him. Usually. And just, I mean, just blows by him without any hesitation, and they're just standing there to look at him. We are in the fourth quarter. 72-42. Five minutes left. Nope. 72-43. They sure like to change their scoreboard a lot. <sighs> they must be falling asleep right with us. Dylan standing up over there in that timeout, just heads and shoulders above everybody. <laughs> 29, 29 point game. We should start seeing some subs here pretty quick. Yeah, uh, we got 12 at the free throw line for corn. I think Mayfield's probably going to wait for subs on the other end before he puts subs on his end. Fills up and misses. Gunner. Melvin secures the rebound. Mark up to Matt already. Over to, to Arnold. Back up to Mark with a three. And it's good. Nice shot, Mark. Twelve's bringing the ball up on the right side down to the corner. Here comes that sub you were talking about. Doherty's coming back to the scorer's table. Twelve's dribbling up top. Over to three, back to ten. Down low to three, and he misses the bump. And I'm not sure Matt didn't help that one in. Is that twice in one game that we helped them get the tip in? I think so. I I really think Matt kind of helped that. Mark with another three. Um, long miss time. 24 secures the rebound. 12 bringing it up. Mark. Mark a little pressure. Three thinks he's going to blow by the net. Spins and finds Michael and throws up nothing. Twelve. Short. And no, here we go. Here. Oh, I don't God. think 44 is going to catch him. No. So, uh, Nat shows his speed a little. And, and big guy from, uh, from the Crusaders didn't have much luck on that. Uh, couldn't even get over to get in front of him in time. Twelve puts up a three. And he rattles it in. Ball up to Matt. 
He spins. And they call it jump, and it is going to be Corn's ball. Um, we are going to bring in three subs. So we have Doherty coming in for Melvin. We have Heg coming out, and we have Mark coming out with Dylan and Mesh. So 12's got the ball over the three. 44's got it up top. Over to 12 and out of bounds for Calumet's ball. Three minutes left, 48 to 77. And we are going to bring in more subs. Uh, they're clearing the bench, so I think we are too. Hey, there's your, uh, there's your big JJ. <laughs> Heileman uh, checking in. Nope. Oh. JJ Robinson. Oh, look at this. Hunter. Mike Gundy, that's uh, that's Mullet Arnold, number three, with the Mike Gundy cut. Number three, Hunter Arnold, brother to Austin. Not and near as fast. But over to Mesh, into Dylan. Dylan turns, uh, throws it up, misses, gets it on rebound, throws it back up, and they call Jordy for over the back. Uh, that was awful late call. It might have been a good call, but it sure, I mean, usually you see that call before the ball goes back up and in the in the bucket. That is going to send them to the free throw line. I don't. This is just, just uh, play the game. What did they, did they call a foul? Because if they call the foul, they ought to be shooting. One and one. It is so if they called the foul, it's a one and one. But they are not going to give them a one and one. Well, over the back call. It wasn't an off. Did they did they call a charge? They he showed over the back, which is not an offensive. Uh, you you usually get free throws on the, over the back. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Hey, all I know is uh, Corn's got the ball and 15 puts up a three, gets his own rebound, puts up a, goes in for a layup and Doherty fouls again. That's going to be four on Big James Doherty already. Whole lot of ball on that. I agree. And if uh, James wants to play uh, another three minutes, he's going to be a little more careful. Yeah. Or two minutes, 32 seconds anyway. 15 free throws up and does not. That's amazing the amount of the amount of minutes that he's gotten tonight, and he already has four fouls. That's you said it earlier, bull in the china closet. Dylan with a nice looking rebound, clears it out, brings it over to Arnold, over up to Mesh, go across the court to JJ. We'll get a shot up. I promise. Uh, he'll shoot. I promise. Come on, he's gonna. He's going to dribble in. Oh, he does put up a shot, but 20 was waiting. Blocked it. 14 is bringing it on up. One's got it over to 20. Back up top to 15. Back to 20. He's having trouble. Arnold's, Arnold's harassing 14, and I would think that would have been a walk. A travel. That should have been a travel, but hey, we came up with the ball. JJ for three. Money. I told you. Uh, I told you. I'll take five on that one. He's he's got about a uh, I don't know. Every time he has an appearance, he's hitting the three. And I do I do want to say that Mike, you called that one. You called that one earlier. He is not scared to shoot a three. And he usually makes one. Arnold with the little tic tac foul. Minute thirty one left. Uh, let's make sure that we call every cheap foul we can so we can get. That's That's been interesting. <laughs> they've, let, they've let some rear, the hard fouls go. Minute 31 in a 32-point in a ball game, and they're going to call that tic-tac. Uh, Coppers checking in, Hunter Novotny. 14 up and in with his free throw. Copper is still looking for his first varsity points. I think we should try to get him points tonight. If he scores, 
If he scores, that bench is going to go crazy. I think we need to try to find him some points. Um, JJ's bringing the ball up over to Arnold. Arnold over to uh, 35 for Corn. That's the wrong team. Um, JJ's on the on the fast break. Uh, JJ got helped out by uh, JJ got helped out by by 20 and uh, threw it back into Dylan. Dylan got fouled on the shot and will go to the line for two. Tell you the only thing we haven't had to listen to tonight is mom screaming, "Call a foul!" Dylan up. They've called a lot and in. They have called a lot. Uh, that's a that's a big wingspan too, right there. They're they're if we foul again, they will be in double bonus for the second time in this game. They were in double Hunter bonus. Hunter Novotny with the board. Come on, Copper, just put it up, buddy. I agree. Dylan. Dylan, last little shot from middle lane does not go in. Twenty bringing it up for Corn. Over to fourteen. 14 drives on Hunter. Good good stop. 21 up top. 20. 20 throws up a three. I think that went off of 35's noggin for our rebound. And Jay for another shot. Copper. Uh, Copper saves the ball. Good job. Give it back to him. Oh. 30 seconds to go. 35's got the ball over. 14's dribbling in. Over to 20. 13 seconds to go. Um, Hyman steals the ball. Gives it to... Get the ball down here to Copper. Uh, it's Come on, JJ! Copper. JJ! Uh, we still did not get our Copper score for the first points of the year. However, we did win 81, 250. Um, kind of a sloppy, sloppy game, but I don't think the refs helped us too much uh, get into a rhythm. That's it. Friday, Adarapaho. And if I am correct, uh, I think I am, that Rapo is ranked fourth and we're ranked fifth. I, I believe that is yes. correct. So. Uh, come on out and cheer on the Chieftains, uh, taking on a tough opponent and a rapo at a rapo. Hey, I enjoyed this, Mike. That's it. See you, buddy. I gotta get a mouse. <laughs>